It was late last night when my lord came home, inquiring for his lady. Oh, the servants cried on every side. She is off with the raggle tackle gypsy. Dear participants, in the 2017 Scenario Forum Conference, on behalf of the organizing team, I wish to thank all of you for the very exciting four days here at University College Cork. Especially, I wish to thank the keynote speakers, the presenters, the workshop leaders, and the performers. Around 170 participated in the conference from around 19 countries. In our current educational systems, the arts are often being marginalized. However, from a performative perspective, the arts are absolutely central to what we should do in education. The conference focused on performative spaces in language, literature, and culture education, and in a more general sense on how we can create performative spaces in education. So during the conference, I was asked several times, uh, what actually is your understanding of the performative? Obviously, it's a very broad concept, and I can't expand a lot here, but perhaps in a nutshell. We are inspired by the performing arts. The performing arts have a lot to offer for education, and there is so much to learn from theatre makers, from dancers, from musicians, etc., etc. The word performative contains the element form. We are interested in aesthetic form, so giving conscious shape in teaching and learning. Furthermore, it contains the element of formative. So we are interested in growth, in development. We are interested in individuals who are critical thinkers, who engage with what's happening in society, who are creative doers, very much in the German sense of Bildung. Individuals who yeah, make constructive contributions to our communities in our respective countries. So, uh, in a very basic sense, performative means doing, or in our context, more creative doing. I like your ideas, Igor. I make so much money, it's incredible. The conference is a nice place. We were here three years uh, ago for the first time, and it's a really, really nice place with all the colleagues, and it's a cool way to communicate all the different ideas. Yeah, it's also so nice because you see that um, uh, other people in other parts of the world, they're also working in the same spots and um, this conference and the scenario, the journal, um, like they keep like, getting us together somehow. Theatre has this power. In that way, it's able to help you with this second language to make it your own in a special way. I don't know why they're doing this. Yes! Yes! It's now that we're giving a break here. Hey, yes, come on, <laughs> theater and language, it fits together, especially improvisational theater and language. It is a really a nice way to teach it. Hey! Nadraji! Nadraji! A pivo! Improvisational theater uh, demands that you don't think about what you're doing, so you can't do any mistakes. Everything you do is okay. And that's perfect for language beginners, because they lose the fear of speaking the foreign language. Alexander Alligator. Alexander Alligator. The play with the pupils was very, very impressing. Uh, I highly recommend it to everyone if you have the chance to see it. Paul von Lindenburg, the Paul's Adolf Hitler, as High Chancellor. It is a project from two schools, 
Und es ist ähm, so, dass äh, beschlossen wurde, zu dem Thema zu arbeiten. Wir kommen aus äh, der Nähe von München. Und es hat wohl etwas damit zu tun, dass wir versuchen, in dem Stück ähm, performativ zu arbeiten und äh, ganz bestimmte Aktionen durchzuführen. Und das passt zu dem Thema sehr gut. Auch, genau, ja. auf vielen Ebenen sehr passend, weil es um den um den Geschichtsraum geht, es geht um den performativen Raum. Wir haben den Raum auch speziell gestaltet, also keinen üblichen Bühnenraum geschaffen, sondern eigentlich das Thema, um das es geht, haben wir in den Raum übertragen, dass das über die räumliche Erfahrung spürbar wird, um was es geht. Und letztlich ähm, ist es, geht es darum, dass ähm, die Kinder ähm, Erfahrungen machen, echte Erfahrungen, nicht nur theatral, sondern auch real, also wirklich echte Erfahrungen äh, machen. Und das haben wir mit der Bühnensituation verbunden. Und auch die Zuschauer sollen diese Erfahrungen machen, sodass alle lernen. Switzerland, Munich, Prague. Uh, the title of uh, the conference is really uh, what my research is about. Teaching languages as a performance an organized performance rather than a traditional lesson. I organize the teaching and uh, the uh, training of you know, teachers uh, as a performance because uh, at the core is uh, interdisciplinary projects combining dance, drama and languages. So teachers and students are invited to uh, perform, emerge uh, materials uh, dance, drama and language materials, which afterwards they combine into a creation. I am very happy to be one uh, of the part of the organizing committee of the Scenario Conference. I believe in a, a kind of teaching and learning that is embodied. And uh, as a researcher, I am very, very interested, interested not just in doing this kind of practice, but also investigating what happens to our learners where, when we implement these practices. I loved Killing Stella, the performance. That was an aesthetic moment for me. Uh, I had um, uh, goosebumps and uh, tears in my eyes. Uh, and that is uh, very personal because I played the cello and the cello was part of the performance and uh, the cello case was incorporated and the actual uh, instrument itself. So for me, it was very, very powerful. One of the most difficult parts, even for advanced students in foreign languages, is to have a correct prosody. In many cases, you recognize the original language, the first uh, language, because they have some odd rhythm and something like that. So what I do is to um, lead them like um, a director of an orchestra, and they, in this way, students uh, have in their mind immediately the, the right rhythm. <laughs> Music that you know everybody thinks songs are are so different. You know they're they're but but they are actually very equivalent. And then you know also taking um well you have to sing it because I Nena. yeah uh, Nena hast du etwas Zeit für mich? So that's Dann singe ich ein Lied für dich. and that's the first line. Um, but you can swap those. They sound like two totally different songs, but you because they have the same syllabic structure, you can sw yeah. swap them. So you can go. Hast du etwas Zeit für mich? Dann singe ich ein Lied für dich. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. May God creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. I study uh, church music, and uh, church music is kind of similar, using music to help a group 
um, develop group synergy and, and congeal. And, mm -hmm. and so th those, those techniques that the church has used for centuries don't need to only fit in church, they can also fit in the classroom. Um, in the classroom. So that's the second lines, and then we're gonna do simple pass. I'll point, we're gonna sing it. <laughs> So performative teaching and learning is of interest because it's a nice fusion of my natural interests and my, my artistic interests and this thing that, that I've enjoyed doing so much teaching. It's been um, not just a learning experience for me and taking the workshops and going to the lectures and, and seeing such excellent work being done, but also um, interacting, uh, hobnobbing, um, talking shop with people who are um, just fine human beings, and you can see their heart is in their work, and for me that means something. With an improvisational piece like that, you really just never know what's going to happen and where it's going to go. I'm very glad that I didn't hurt myself. <laughs> Creative, performative, imaginative pedagogies open up this wonderful space of not knowing where we can enter into uh, a creative moment and discover what is true for that time. And I think as an educational approach coming from that cre creative space may just be very, uh, may very well be that thing that allows our species to move to the next level where we begin to listen, we begin to create collaboratively rather than at odds to one another, uh, a space that exposes our prejudice, our bias, our, uh, our own hate, our own fear, but then our joys too. And uh, yeah, in a very idealistic way, the, the beauty that we all should realize we have while we're alive. Um, in order to, you know, learn language, Mm, I think using a body or uh, using drama techniques is one of the most effective ways. I'm teaching mostly of, um, students who are very, very shy and drama techniques help to them to develop socially and to be less afraid of the world and more confident. But um, drama is sociology in action. so. Um, they're simultaneously learning about the world outside and how they have a place in the world. They build social skills and English is a kind of a side effect or yes. <laughs> side product. Um, they're not doing it for English, for the test, they're mm. doing it through English. Mm. Uh, drama activities or drama pedagogy uh, is, um, forms more and more part of language teaching, especially German language teaching. These people, these different people from different countries with their own projects. Um, yeah, and uh, at these days at the conference, I think the theatre play from the, from the German youth theatre group was very, very um, powerful. Performative um, teaching and learning has so much in it that can offer a lot to also a lot of students. It is a way of connecting the, what is supposed to be learned to the learner in kind of individual way. I made the experience myself, even as a learner, I only learn well when I am engaged, uh, when my emotions are engaged, when I do something practically. Um, that's, for me, that's the best way to learn. Like, so, hey, what's happening here? So, hang on, hang on. I love you. My practice has been to work in process drama as a vehicle for teaching language and also for teaching drama. So rather than teaching language through drama or teaching drama through language, I teach both at the same time and I found process drama to be a perfect vehicle for that. It's 
really exciting to have people from so many countries with a shared passion and a shared commitment to um, learning and developing their practice and to share ideas. Hands up for me, hey, 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 hey. What I like most about this conference is the opportunity to pe meet people from all over the world. It's this incredibly diverse group with all kinds of different backgrounds, all different languages, very different approaches to what is drama, what is theater, what is language teaching. And I find in every conversation I'm learning something new and yet finding connections and things that we have in common. And that's really, really exciting. Not to feel that, oh, I'm all alone in what I do. No, there's, there are other people out there with, with similar ways of engaging with this kind of work, and that's wonderful. The servants cried on every side, she's off with the ragged gypsies, ho. Oh, who saddle to me my milk-white steed, go and fetch me my pony, ho, that I may ride to seek my bride, who is off with the ragged gypsies, ho. Oh, he rode east and he rode west, he rode through fields and corpses, oh, until he came to a wide open field, and there he espied his lady, oh. Oh, what made you leave your house and your land? What made you leave your money, oh? What made you leave your new wedded lord to go off with the raggle tackle gypsies, oh? Oh, what do I care for my house and my land? What do I care for my money, oh? What do I care for my new wedded lord? For I'm off with the ragged tackle gypsies, ho. Oh. There were three old gypsies that come to my door. They came brave and 